Today we're comparing Folklore and Evermore to see which one is the superior album. I know this is pretty messed up and I've always said that Evermore is my favorite album, but today we're going to find out if that's actually true. Uh, let's go track by track, starting with track ones. From Folklore, we got The One, starting off too damn strong, and from Evermore we have Willow. Two insanely good songs, but I'm sorry, Aaron Dessner put crack or something in The One. And Taylor's melody in the if you never know, never know, so good, it's so good. It's a super nostalgic nostalgic remembrance of a past lover that is so addicting and clever. I'll never say a bad thing about Willow ever, that's my Evermore baby, but come on, the one clears. Okay, moving on to track twos, we have Cardigan from Folklore versus Champagne Problems from Evermore. Oh my god. God, fuck. Why is this the matchup? Listen, Champagne Problems is literally the song that got me into Taylor Swift in the first place. It made me listen to all of Evermore, then Folklore, then 1989, and then I became a full-on Swifty. Cardigan, on the other hand, is like a top three Taylor Swift song. It could be the best Taylor Swift song for all I know, but I have to choose Cardigan. Folklore's up 2-0. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Track threes. We got The Last Great American Dynasty from Folklore versus Gold Rush from Evermore. Two amazing sounding songs once again. I absolutely love the story in The Last Great American Dynasty about Rebecca and her Rhode Island mansion leading up to the reveal that it's Taylor's now. The flow is super beautiful, super indie, but Gold Rush, man, it sounds so heavenly. I love her depiction of jealousy, like her being attracted to someone that everyone in the world is attracted to. The idea is great, the song sounds amazing, Gold Rush wins. Next are track fours, Exile with Bon Iver from Folklore versus Tis the Dance season from Evermore. Exile destroys me and makes me feel emotions I didn't even know I had. It's so melancholic, sorrowful, super deep, and Taylor and Bon Iver's vocals sound insanely good together. Even though I really liked his damn season, there's no competition here. Exile clears. Okay, track fives are My Tears Ricochet from Folklore versus Tolerate It from Evermore. Oh my god. My Tears Ricochet, man. The power in the and if I'm dead to you, why are you at the wake and her choir type layered vocals that make the melody sound amazing but tolerate it i think it was in my top five spotify rap the lyrics are on another level especially in the bridge and the meaning you wanting love from someone who isn't paying any attention to you sorry this is really hard but i'm gonna have to go with tolerate it tolerate it wins for track six we have mirrorball from folklore versus nobody no crime with heim from evermore mirrorball is a pretty song it's great but i think the thing about nobody no crime is that the storyline is super cool and it's super different from like anything Taylor's ever made. I really like it. I'm going Nobody No Crime. Okay, for track seven, we have Seven from Folklore versus Happiness from Evermore. Two tracks that sound amazing, obviously, but I'm gonna have to straight up go with Seven. It's so folk and nostalgic and her vocals sound incredibly soothing from the second you press play. It straight up transports me back to childhood and the purity that comes with it. It's incredible. Seven wins. For track eight, we have August from Folklore versus is Dorothea from Evermore. Sorry, Dorothea. No hate to you at all. There is just no competing with the unique and dreamy sound of August. It is one of the standouts from Folklore. It's really beautiful. And don't get me started with the story or the love triangle. I love that shit. But yeah, August wins. Okay, track nine already. This is me trying from Folklore versus Coney Island with The National from Evermore. This one is another really difficult one. I have both of these in my daily rotation. This is me trying. The production on that song is so unique and the lyrics are just super sad. I'll definitely cry to it sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. And Coney Island, something about the dun 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 dun. The production eats too hard. It's one of those I listen to when I'm in a completely different place. I'm in Coney Island, so I'm gonna have to go with Coney Island. I'm sorry. Okay, the track 10s are Illicit Affairs from Folklore versus Ivy from Evermore. We are just not catching a fucking break with these hard choices. Illicit Affairs, I just love the acoustic guitar and how Taylor wrote a song about cheating in such a beautiful way. I don't care if that's fucked up to say. And in Ivy, the oh, I can't. The lyrics I love, the bridge I'm obsessed with, the sound is amazing. This might be controversial, but Ivy wins 100%. Okay, we're on track 11's Invisible String from Folklore versus Cowboy Like Me from Evermore. I hate this because Cowboy Like Me is one of the best songs on Evermore, but Invisible String is the best song on Folklore. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, there's no competition here. The acoustic guitar strums, Taylor's vocal shining harder than ever here. It's too beautiful of a song. Invisible String wins easily. For track 12, we have Mad Woman from Folklore versus Long 
story short from Evermore. As much as I love the idea behind Mad Woman and its cool and unique sound, it just does not beat how fun and catchy Long Story Short is. Long Story Short wins. For track 13, we have Epiphany from Folklore versus Marjorie from Evermore. Now that is kind of fucked up. Marjorie is obviously about her grandmother, while Epiphany is about doctors and nurses during the COVID-19 pandemic, but I think more generally it's about like people seeking peace in their dreams while living in a world full of chaos. Both sound great, but I really like how angelic and different overall Epiphany is. So Epiphany wins for me. Track 14's now are Betty from Folklore and Closure from Evermore. Sorry, Closure is amazing, but Betty is one of my favorite songs of all time. It's just so raw in a way because it's just guitar and harmonic, super country, and you know I'm obsessed with that fucking love triangle, man. I'm obsessed. Betty wins. Looking at track 15's, we have Peace from Folklore and Evermore with Bon Iver from Evermore. Peace sounds good, I really don't have any problem with it, but Evermore, man, it's an insanely good piano ballad, and her and Bon Iver's vocals, like I previously mentioned, sound so good together, as they did on Exile. Although I do think Exile is a slightly better collab, I'm still giving this to Evermore. Evermore wins. Track 16, we have Hoax from Folklore and Right Where You Left Me from Evermore. Hoax is really pretty, but again, Right Where You Left Me has that sauce. It's addicting. Help, I'm still at the restaurant. The lyrics are so good. It really surprised me as a bonus track. It's one of the best on Evermore, so Right Where You Left Me wins. Last but not least, we have our track 17. So Lakes from Folklore versus It's Time to Go from Evermore. Now this isn't easy, but none of this has been fucking easy. Let's be real. In the lakes, the lyrics are so impressive and poetic. It's beautiful, okay? And It's Time to Go is also really gentle, but I think it is slightly better. I don't know if it's because I'm an ever whore or whatever. I know I will get hate for this because the lakes has a lot of stands right now, but It's Time to Go wins. It wins. All right, so if we count everything up, we see I chose folklore songs as the winner for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the tracks. While I chose Evermore songs for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of the tracks, which is the majority. So according to the system, Evermore is the superior album. So I could continue saying that it is my favorite Taylor Swift album, but barely. These two albums are amazing and extremely hard to compare as we both saw. I just thought this would be fun to do and it really was, but thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Later.